You can now get your very own floating unicorn pet available in the catalog. Of course, make sure to use star code Kristen when purchasing your Robux or premium. Links in the description. Reboot, I'm COVID, my service automated, like data running through my veins, got you. Make sure to subscribe and of course ring that bell, turn those notifications on so you don't miss my next video. Hey crew crew, it's Kristen and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. Now for today's video you guys, I am so excited to give you a tour of the new panda home that I have built here in Adopt Me for our panda pets. So a lot of you guys have been asking for me to let you know how much these builds are before we actually do the tour. So this one I believe was about 3,500 Adopt Me dollars. So kind of considered to be a cheaper style home, definitely not cheap, cause it takes forever. <laughs> but um, yeah, so it's definitely not that expensive, expensive to do and it really won't take you guys that long if you are inspired and you do wanna do, you know, something a little bit similar to this. So next what I wanna mention you guys, how do you like my new face? So just kind of playing around with some of the new Adopt Me faces and I actually really like this one. Really hope that they get green eyes because um, that's what I have. That's why I really like the other like quiet face that they had before the before they like switched up their faces. Um, the one that I used to use was kind of like smiling so hard her eyes were shut and she just had like her amazing winged liner on. <laughs> so you guys might be like, Kristen, why are we going in your home? We have already seen the tour of this, but I do wanna show you guys what I was inspired by because when I actually did the tour for my mansion build, so many of you guys wished that I did a speed build specifically for this. So this is where today's home build is actually inspired by. Okay, so we have the bedroom. Now the new home that I have built you guys does not have this giant panda because I actually used the tiny home. You guys know I love using the tiny home and just trying to play around with the different layouts. But a lot of this stuff you guys are going to see, including that wallpaper. Okay, so let's actually exit here. So I actually really still like the pandas and I am working on getting a million billion of my pets aged up. It's seriously like a full-time job just aging up pets. <laughs> and adopt me, you guys. What are you thinking of these mega neons? I feel like, yes, they've been around for so long, but it takes me like a year to make a mega neon. And okay, I think we have everything here, but I think we're gonna need to put the tie on our panda. Now that I'm like paying attention, we need to get rid of our stroller. It's all about summer, so of course we needed to use that popsicle stroller. And my panda stinks great. <laughs> what a way to start the day. What is this one, a head tie? No. Do we want the, oh my gosh, that's kind of cute, but not what we're looking for. I just want to put on our, oh my gosh, what about, what if we put on this hat here? Oh my gosh, this is perfect. <laughs> I feel like there's some type of cartoon character that kind of looks like this a little bit. I don't know, is it just me? How cute. So this one I actually named Bamboo and I just used the emoji. I'm kind of obsessed with using emojis for pet names just because I think it looks kind of cuter. But um, yes, so let's go ahead and finally load up our home tour. You guys know I am such a chatty Kathy in these videos. So let's go ahead and see if I can find it first off. Um, oh my gosh, are you guys gonna find it before? Okay, tiny panda. <laughs> so what I like to do is see how many ways we can actually decorate these tiny homes because in case you guys, you know, you don't really spend a lot of time in Adopt Me or you don't have like a lot of money but you still like nice things, story of my life. Um, you can actually have some really pretty homes. I do have like a home tour on like some tiny homes coming up. I'm like been obsessed with it. But this one is actually completely panda um, themed. So this one is definitely color coordinated with the wallpaper and also the Eastern furniture because of course we got like the bamboo which matches absolutely perfectly with pandas. 
and also like the tea and um, yeah, so I'm obsessed with this. <laughs> Actually, so when you first come in, of course, you can come over, you can hang up your jackets and of course any of your pet accessories. Really wish we could take the hat off and just like hang it up onto the rack. Let's actually put our panda over. Oh no, we're gonna need to fix that chair. Let's fix both of them, actually. We don't want our panda to feel like <laughs> it's in time out. What about over here? And we'll bring it back. Oh my gosh, he stinks. Oh my goodness, he really stinks. We need to give him a bath. <laughs> so, okay, so when you first walk in, we have our kitchen living room combination. I feel like I haven't really done a layout like this. Um, I mean, I've done a million of these tiny homes, but I don't think one has been quite like this before. So of course over, and of course it's nighttime, but um, so we have like the eating and drinking station over here and I did do a tutorial on how you guys can actually get these emojis if you are on computer. And we have like the bamboo and the panda. It just looks really cute. One thing that I really wish Adopt Me would add, story of my life, I wish that we could have these signs this shape. Like I wish we could have them the long version because everything is just kind of like sideways. But yes, we have like bamboo. Now when it becomes daytime, you guys can see my bamboo garden a little bit better. So of course I have like this sign, same as the bedroom that I was inspired by that we have built already. And this is supposed to be like your um, panda if they want to go outside. They they have to like pee or poo you know they can go out here in the grass there's like bamboo growing and maybe you even want to cut it now that I think about it you guys can you eat bamboo I know on Animal Crossing you can eat bamboo shoots I don't think you can actually eat bamboo I knew you know you can make like furniture it's like wood but um yeah <laughs> let me know in the comments can you only eat bamboo shoots or can you actually eat bamboo now I need to google that but yeah we'll come back out when it turns daytime and the kitchen. So of course there is the um, fridge. This one I believe is the modern one. The sleek one has like all of the brown. So this one definitely matched better. And then the stove, the sink, and also the bamboo. Now to make this kind of fit so it didn't go like all the way through the cupboard, you guys, I just kind of like pulled it through to the bottom. And I should quickly mention that the speed build for this will also be going up later today on Kristen Speed Builds, my other channel. So definitely make sure to check that out. And yeah, so we have like the bamboo, a coffee so that it looks like maybe our pets are drinking or our company. And then the couch, the sofa, or like the little love seat table. Of course, we have like more of the pictures with panda, bamboo, all of that jazz. <laughs> and this lamp is seriously my favorite one. You can clutter it up, but I didn't really want to clutter this one just because it didn't really fit the theme. And we have like our teapot, the teacup, and I was really torn, you guys, on the color and that I wanted to make the rug. I actually tried it with blue. It looked super stinking adorable, but I felt like the green just kind of matched the bamboo a little bit better. So next we are going to check out our panda bedroom. So let's pick up our stinky little panda here. Actually, yeah, we could probably go over and throw our panda in the tub. Um, to be honest, <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna check this out in the daytime because honestly the mirrors I really wish they would stay like that clear see through to the outdoors type of design But there is like the floating castle just like the bedroom I am obsessed with making these and there we go You guys see how much like prettier it is in the daytime with like the mirror and it kind of looks like we're floating outside here It just kind of like really adds <gasps> Our panda doesn't stink anymore. <laughs> That's good, okay. And then next we have the bathtub. So does it, oh yeah, we still need to put our panda in the bathtub. So we have of course our um, bamboo scented, I don't know if that's a thing, maybe. Um, our little like shampoos, conditioners, bamboo pictures. And of course the incense diffuser over here. Some towels, the sink, all of that good stuff. And then if we go back out, yeah, you guys can see it a lot better. One thing, if you did kind of want to make this a little bit more functional and a little bit bigger, you can definitely put like a pet bed underneath of the bricks or even a chair. And you can actually make it look like your panda is like actually, um, oh my gosh, our panda, 
needs to eat. Let's see if our panda actually likes this stuff. And we also need to put our panda to sleep. <laughs> so yeah, I didn't have like any pet beds out here because I didn't feel like we needed them because we did have one in here. And as you guys know, if you are an adult in Adopt Me, you don't actually need to sleep, <laughs> unfortunately. But I really hope that you guys did enjoy the teeny tiny home for a panda. And of course you guys can customize this for other pets different colors, but hopefully it will inspire you. Definitely make sure to check out this speed build over on my other channel, Kristen Speed Builds, and also make sure that you guys are subscribed with notifications on. Give today's video a very big thumbs up, and hopefully I'm gonna see you all next time. Bye guys.